the Audi e-tron GT now they're saying that the production is going to be starting in the late 2020 Audi is working on his first electric sedan and it's, it was unveiled of course at the LA Auto Show it impressed many with the design the German automaker also, automaker also surprised some saying that it's going to be quick to bring the car to market by leveraging a powertrain developed by Porsche for the Taycan. Now, this, these are some specs. Now, there's going to be 16.3 feet length and it's also going to have a height of 4.5 feet this particular car is going to have 590 horsepower. That's that that is nice. That is sporty. 590 horsepower. 95 kilowatt hour battery mounted below the car, and it's gonna that's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna have the um, the cutouts near the feet to allow your feet. to go in and rest and this particular car is going to have 150 kilowatts of fast charging to 70 percent and a step down from there it's going to have two motors all-wheel drive and acceleration from 0 to 62 in, uh, in an astounding 3.5 seconds now it's going to get up to 124.3 miles per hour in just over 12 seconds. The top speed is 149.1 miles per hour. This is enormous, folks. And again, the uh, it's going to have 22-inch wheels, which we talked about earlier. Um, this is also amazing for passenger interior. Now the driver's side cha charging is going to have an option of additional side charge port, which is going to be, you know, which is amazing. You know, it's going to be on both sides. And that's going to be an option. I don't know if I would, you know, click that box because, you know, it's never been a big deal in the past what side you put your guests in. So it ain't gonna make a difference, you know. If you charge the charger on the other one, you just have to drive around to the other side. But there's a convenience p factor there. You just pull up, you just pull up and and just go ahead and charge the way it is. That's you know, that's the convenience of getting that feature. Some of the specs on this particular car is expected to change by the time by the time the the car comes its production. Um, now, Audi announced that the e-tron GT will be built on the same assembly line as the Audi R8 at the Bollinger Hoffe factory in Germany. I might, I might have pronounced that wrong. Excuse my German. I don't really not speak German, but you understand what I'm saying. Now, the uh, the production um, manager, whose name is Wolfgang Schenz, he says since the Bollinger Hoffe has already created in the design phase, a small series production facility with innovative and flexible production processes. That gives us the idea condition to produce the e-tron GT along the side of the Audi R8. Here, a unique combination of craftsmanship and a small factory comes to life. And that's what's gonna bring, you know, a real solid, beautiful brand such as Audi. So it's gonna, I mean, that's what's gonna bring the quality and everything to the table is to use that and I guess in that way they will, they will also save money. Now the German automaker is building uh, two new lightweight construction halls that will provide around 10,000 square meters. Audi notes that the RA construction is the mostly handcrafted and they are building a separate highly automated body shop facility to, sh to support the e-tron GT and is expected to be at you know, a higher volume vehicle. They're expected those cars 
and, they, and from what I'm hearing, they are now at the uh, point of the start of the production of the GT, which is going to be in late 2020. I mean, that's pretty nice. So the car is going to be coming out in, produ in production, and um, they're expecting to sell a lot of these. And I can't imagine Audi being cheap. And so if you're going to come to the table, you're going to come to the table with at least six figures because this is nice, and especially if you want all these options such as the 22 inch wheels and all that, you got you you got to come to the table. You know what? It's going to be worth it. You know, again, this is the Audi e-tron GT, an awesome electric vehicle.
the Audi e-tron GT this car shared the Porsche Taycan technology and will also feature a very fast charging now the charge you see the chart this right here in the body structure this is right here is where you will charge the car at um, the 800 volt battery system is able to go from nearly dead to 80% in 20 minutes. That's amazing, folks. Because apart, when you buy a car like this and you go to the gas station, who likes to sit there for hours? I mean, 20 minutes, you have to sit there. And that's 20 minutes, you know, and I think the um, retailers are going to love this because that's 20 minutes of buying junk food at the gas station. Imagine going to Wawa and you got 20 minutes and you just walk in there and you just start buying stuff and smoothies and this and that and you easily drop 20 bucks just sitting there just eating well not 20 probably 10 and if you're lucky sometimes they have their two dollar special or they have their what they call it i forget the name of it but you get there and you buy whatever drink you want to buy well that's what you're going to be doing when you have this baby and you're sitting there for 20 minutes just looking at this sculpture this beautiful sculpture parked outside and everybody else walking around gawking at it with their cameras taking pictures I mean, what a feeling this would be. I mean, look at the look at that back lighting, folks. It's got what they call the light bar. You know, some people call it the uh, Star Wars saver. Saver. I think it's pronounced saver. If not, let me know in the comments what it really meant. Because I'm, I like Star Wars, but I'm not a Star Wars phenom. You know, but at the same time, it has this light bar, and that light bar is spectacular, folks. The way it just sits, it's so strong, and it's so it's 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 so ahead. It's so ahead of itself. I mean, look at the look at. I mean, look at the um, look at the back end, folks. Look at the aerodynamic functioning back here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's just zoom in a little bit. I mean, it's got the e-tron written here. Oh, that's so nice, folks. And then look at here. It's got the. I mean, those are not exhaust fins, but I don't know what exactly they are. Let's see if we can zone in and see if we can get it. But you know what? You need cooling for the battery packs. Now this car, if it's like the Porsche Taycan, that means the battery packs sit, you know, beneath the floor well. And that brings down, guess what, folks? The center of gravity, which is going to make this car enormous, you know, as far as handling. Oh, this is going to be such a beauty. And I don't know what kind of synthetic noise they'll make for the exhaust. But you know, if Porsche is going to make a noise, it's going to be off the chain. Now, this is just the... But what a spectacular car, folks. What a spectacular car. And look at here, you have the air... This right here, if this is functional, there's going to be a cutout right up in here to allow the air to go around and cool off the brakes and come out of here and go along the side of the car. This is enormous, and especially how it has the e-tron written right here. I believe that's what it is. Let's zoom in and see. You know, of course, it's out of focus, but it looks like it. Yep, Audi Sport is what's written here, folks. Let's see Audi Sport. So this is what it is, folks. Let's see what's on the next picture, too. And then you have this angle of it, folks. This angle is very nice too as well. As you can see, it has, you know, just the roof line in itself. It has this crease right here, and it looks like this crease goes in here like this. It sort of reminds me somewhat of the, might be of the Porsche Taycan. And it has, it again, on this side, it has the, uh, the charge filler cap right here. That's really, really nice, folks. And the way this is designed, this car is nice very nice I can't really say much more I like the design I like the way the arrow the wind you know will be coming up here and coming across here so it's gonna ride pretty quietly what a phenomenal car folks and that back in again <laughs> that's where the you know this is really nice this is what people are gonna see I can't speak of this you know light bar again but it's just it's just phenomenal and the way the window is. That's nice as well. I mean, the way you look, you have to actually look above the trunk lid to even see inside. 
It ain't that spectacular. And boy, look at this. I mean, this arch, this way it sits is nice too. And I can imagine it has the driving, the self-driving technology all up in here with the uh, the LiDAR system. I think they're using it. I don't know if they are. If you guys know, just please leave a comment in and just let me know, you know, what it is they're using as far as the technology for the, um, is it going to be full autonomous driving, semi-autonomous driving, but more likely semi-autonomous driving. And this is another angle of it, folks. Still spectacular, folks. Look how nice it is. And then you have this angle, too. All these different angles, you know, they just bring something out about this car. You know, just makes you appreciate it. You know, makes you appreciate the art and form. German engineering, especially this one going down the street. The daytime running lights is also spectacular. Look at that. Look at the way they are. Look at the way that is. Spectacular, folks. Then you just have another angle of it just moving down the street. And look at the wheels. The deep dish. They look almost deep dish, but to the point I don't think they are. It's just the way they're sculptured and designed. They look like it. And the way it looks while it's in motion, folks, is is actually stupendous. This is excellent, folks. This is a well, well designed car. The Audi e tron GT concept. And this is spectacular, too. So, we are talking about a car that's not in production yet. But it's something to think about. I mean, look at the mirrors and the way the mirrors are. I mean, I like it when concept cars have real mirrors on them. That's nice. I don't. You know, when they have the digital mirrors, a little piece, you know that's never going to come in production. But when they put mirrors like this on their cars, that means the baby is coming. And you know what? I actually think they're going to have to come out a little faster than this. You know, they're saying they're 2022. But I tell you, man, there's so much competition out there. I mean, I l I'm looking at um, Hyundai and Kia. I mean, they're coming out with stuff that you think would be a concept vehicle, but it's coming out six, several months from now. Uh, they're not planned. They're, they're real aggressive. They're really, really aggressive. And Audi and Porsche, they got to jump on the game. You got to get your stuff together. I mean, if once you come out with these vehicles, you got to come out. Otherwise, people are going to go out and sign the papers for these other cars, and they're not going to jump on the Audi bandwagon. But again, this is an Audi. And, you know, the quality and the, t the, t the tonic, the, the solid solidity of these cars is just, I mean, you close that door, it's such a dunk. But boy. I gotta say, Genesis and the rest of them are doing the same thing too, as far as the technology. You get in there and it's just solid, and, and boy, the craftsmanship, even in those cars, is second to none as well. I tell you, it's not its not your old, these are not your old cars, but Audi is coming, and they're coming to the fight. It's almost like when you go into a, a, a professional fight, and you're gonna see somebody fighting the thrill that you get. You know, when you get your tickets, you go in there and you and ding, ding, and if you're not buying the tickets to see it, you get your pay-per-view, and it's just like, it's on. And then when the fight starts, you know, just being a part of it, and that's what this is all about, being a part of this, you know, these, what do you call it, shakers of the automotive industry. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just nice, too, as well. I mean, the way it's lit, I think we already looked at this picture, but it's phenomenal. Now, let's look at the interior pics, too. Look at this interior, folks. This Audi con e GT concept in interior is just really nice. Look at the, look at the footrest. I mean, the brake and the gas. I mean, that's just phenomenal. And look at the, uh, look at the, let's look at the uh, the media, the the entertainment display. It is really nice as well. And you look at the uh, the gauges and the dash. The, I mean. The quality of it is really nice and, and you know the one thing about these particular cars is that when you have choices people want choices they want to be able to go through the different um, gauge clusters and be able to change them sport comfort and this is what Audi has to offer is, is these type of things is sports this comfort and they got features it's just really really nice it's spectacular folks and let's go back through this and let's look at this even more. But the first thing we'll do is make this gun go lower. I mean, you look at the seats too. When you look at this, 
when you open this and then you get this soft place to sit and you get this this you know this is the Porsche shifter you know when you shift it looks like the Porsche shifter let's, let's zoom in and let's see what it is that's what it looks like but it didn't looks like this could be the gear indicator it's hard to distinguish between what this is in the middle exactly but let's let's see what this is I mean and it just is 12 o'clock too that's nice too when you have a card and it has that that tells you it's got class and look at the lines as far as the seats look at the how the dash meets that this is spectacular this is the Audi GT e-tron interior this is very very nice folks let's go down even lower and let's look now this angle even looks nice too it's like when you're looking in you know you get the you know you got the cover for the gauges right here this is really nice and then you have this this line that swoops around here and it swoops to the dash and it connects here and then you have the the metal like plastics that come up here this is really nice and then over here you have the again the um the rain sensors and all of that stuff working and you know a lot of the engineering that i noticed in these cars like you know it reminds me of too the bugatti chevron and how it has this you know mirror and how this centerpiece goes up in here and this is a you know you know how it goes in the, between the cars splits it up they're bringing that but they're not bringing everything to the full extent they're just bringing a portion of it in the beginning in the mirrors and that's a really nice that's a really nice way of looking at it and this is the back seat of the Audi um, e-tron GT and this back seat is nice too you know they're bringing the same technology as the Tesla brains they don't use real leathers they use you know other things because if it's electricity you're thinking about saving the environment so so the people that are buying these particular cars are environmental conscious and they don't want leather and this is not leather but it's really really high quality you know see still take a look at that let's zoom in a little bit further just to see when you look at the fabric you look at that I mean that just looks nice folks even though it is a cloth interior look how nice it is I like cloth I myself being a vegetarian I'm like at the same time who wants to be a vegetarian you know but at the same time you know a lot of people who buy these cars environmental friendly will be that and regardless of what you are you know if you don't eat meat you eat meat it doesn't really mean anything there's people still gonna get kill a cow and put it in a grocery store anyway so it's all good enjoy life and everyone's equal but this is a vitex spectacular spectacular interior folks I like the I like the way that the different fabrics are and how this meets right here and how this you know it blends in everything is just so nice in this boy if they bring this to production you know you guys keep subscribing to me and keep coming here one day I may be able to afford this but boy this is nice and let's zoom let's, let's zoom into the doors too let's look at this let's look at this uh, door um, look at the hand rest right here same fabric and you have the windows up and down and then you have this nice design here and this looks like a you know a speaker right here that goes right here and connects and then you have this nice finish right here which is probably a high quality plastic which is really 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 still looks really really nice and this plastic it looks like it's really really nice whatever fabric this is but you see the stitching right here that goes up in here this is very really, really nice folks and you have the speaker system right here and then you have a little place to put your shenanigans whatever that is papers or whatever or, you know this is just it's it's a highly crafted piece of machinery and in here you would have the vents and I don't know if this is a vent from this angle but I see right here these are some kind of buttons perhaps temperature controls you know very very nice folks very very nice I've always liked Audi Audi is um but the closest I ever came to an Audi I used to own a Volkswagen uh, Golf R32 oh look at the sunroof I mean it's really nice too it's, it's reminiscent I mean this real eerie feeling 
you know, I'm not gonna, I was going to say it's reminiscent of the Tesla, how they all have their roofs, their glass roofs. I mean, this is really, really nice, folks. You just sit there, you know, you don't feel so um, claustrophobic when you're in these particular cars with these nice roofs like this. And this right here is the, this is a good angle. You know, Audi and, and Lamborghini and the whole Volkswagen family. I mean, besides Volkswagen, but those other cars, they have these high-tech, you know, uh, media displays. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom away for a second. And you see that, you know, of course, this right here is the HVAC system. You know, this is pretty nice setup. You got the seats, controllers, you got the fan speeds right here. And you, this is the shifter of, of some sort. That's what it looks like. It looks like you rest your hands. I don't know if it slides or what. You know, for a park, that's pretty big. If it does, it probably really, if I was engineering it, um, you know, I'm no engineer or no interior designer. But it looks like it could be a hand rest. You know, I guess you don't know. But, um, if it is a shifter, boy, it's pretty big. But I would think it would be a place to rest your hands so you can, you know, do the nav, do the, um, do the HVAC system. Then you have the entertainment, you have the uh, full media up here. This is really nice. And then here you probably have, these are probably air, you know, it's probably let's get air out, you know, like the airplanes do. You know, they have the air coming out of small places like that. And if they engineered it right, it's going to work. Let's go back to the smaller sides. You got a nice glove box too as well. Here too as well. Boy, what a beautiful design. I mean, the way the lines and the contours and the shapes just wrap around the driver. And the way the steering wheel is, folks. I mean, it's just, you know, the, the flat bottom. You know, you can drive it. You can put your knees there sometime and just touch it. When you're using a semi-autonomous driving. And it's just that you're not there. You just put your knees there and just... You know, I can see doing that, you know, with a flat bottom steering wheel and you're just cruising down the highway. Let's see if anything else we missed. But let's see if we can zoom in one more time. See if we can zoom into the interior. Um, that's the steering wheel, of course. And this is the view. This is the, um, let's go back into the screen. This is a horn. And this view must be for the cameras. And this is up and down, okay. This must be for the autonomous driving. You know, autonomous driving usually on the European cars is on the left side, because I, I have that system too in my car, and it's always on the left side, how you choose what speed you want to go to down, and then you also use this to put the distance between you and the other car in front of you. So I imagine it's the same setup. That's the one thing I like about the, you know, and look at the stitching in the steering wheel, folks. And then this one doesn't have the bezel in the middle. You know, which means that it doesn't cost as much. The other one probably costs an arm and a leg because it has all the features. But hey, if you can tick those boxes, tick them. You know, 2022 babies, these babies are coming. The Audi GT, e-tron GT. Sometimes I'm just messed up in the way I say it. It's just, this is just so awesome, folks. Oh, let's go next. Let's, let's see what's next. What a spectacular car, folks. And then you have this angle. I mean, this angle is nice, too, because you get to see the dash and everything, the way it looks, you know, from the seat. And, and you have the vents here. But this is a super concept car. You can tell by the mirrors. The other one didn't have those, so. Spectacular. Let's go to next. This angle is very nice, too. You look in, you see the driver's seat right here, and you see this right here is also spectacular. I mean, this design right here that goes on the side. And then you have the metal trim right here. This is really nice. You have the seat belts, and you have the seat belts and the, and the uh, pillar right here, and the angles, and this, I mean, spectacular. And not only that, but what I've noticed too is this. I don't know if you guys remember the Lamborghini, no, not the Lamborghini, but the Ferrari. They have this, you know, for the passenger to see. This, and this is a concept. This is probably something they're thinking about putting in the in the other model, but it'll probably be the super top of the line model. You have the temperature and everything right there, and so the person, the passenger, can see all this. This is pretty nice. You know, it makes you a part of the car, so you know what's going on. It keeps you alert. It's nice. But boy, man, in a in a Ferrari, that's a seven thousand dollar option. 
I don't know what they're going to do with this. I think I've seen it in a Ferrari FF or in a Ferrari, I think they call it the, the Lusso, the Lusso one. I'm going to look at that one and even study that one more. That's always been a dream car of mine, but I know I don't have 400000 350000 to 400000 to be able to buy it. And this is another angle, too, of the Audi. I mean, again, you got the gauge, the gauges and everything. It's just spectacular. Let's go and see if we can zoom into the steering wheel, see if the lighting, if it doesn't get uh, out of um, focus. You know, but this is pretty nice as far as the setup here. In the here, but it seems like it's going out of focus the closer we get. But you can sort of see that the phone, um, uh, you have right here, looks like it says start, but that's really nice, folks. This is spectacular, folks. Let's see what we got here. Same thing, folks, but this one has the bezel and the steering, as you can see. You can see the uh, 12 o'clock right here. And that's nice, too. It's a nice setup. Uh, again, this is another the exterior. Looking at the exterior again from the, at this car is really nice. Again, the interior. Again, you know, this is a super concept car by the mirror right there. And then you have oh, straight up spectacular. Sorry about that, folks. Again, this is Bruce with AO Automotive Reviews. And this right here is the Audi e-tron GT model. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.